Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm over here working on this Ferrari, and I've got a cool little product to show you guys today that I've been testing out for a little bit, and it's finally got me where I'm confident I can share it with you guys and you guys can use it and benefit from it. So let me show you what's up. This is called, so first of all, I want you to just notice, I've, I've just completed the wash on the Ferrari. I've not done the inside, but the wash is done. I was able to spray deionized water and rinse it off, which is what's on there right now. It's just deionized water. But I have my Aquatainer or Aqua Tank 2 is what this thing is called. This is the 60 gallon deal. Um, what you do is you cap this off, you fill from that side. Once it's filled up, you get where you're going or even leave it already plugged in. But um, you'll basically uh, run your hose to your pressure washer, which is what I have going on right here. This 25 foot hose comes off of that washer. I don't love that. I want to get a shorter hose, which I do have. I have, oh, right there. That's just a six foot deal. I need like a 10 footer to come down and give me good flow right into the pressure washer without it having to travel around because I'm not getting full pressure out of the pressure washer like this. So uh, the one thing that I would do is literally get a 10 foot extension um, and then run it right to the pressure washer so that you've got better uh, gravity flow. Uh, so you'll vent the top. So just crack the top open so that it can breathe. And then basically the water gravity flows down to the pressure washer and I can wash cars with this 60 gallon tank. The cool part is it's not plastic. So as soon as it's empty, you can literally fold it up and you can put it in your pocket. No wasted space here. The bad thing is this thing cost me like $170. So it was not cheap, but nothing worth having is. Uh, in my experience anyway. So you've got your your drain and you've got your input, your output, and then basically, so you crack that open and then that's open going down into the pressure washer and then the pressure washer takes it from there. But I've already done this full situation. Um, got my gun over here. full-on pressure washer, water tank, all of that. And the water tank you could fit in the side of your pocket. Pretty awesome. So, uh, I mean, that's basically it. Really simple system. Uh, again, this thing is awesome because you can use it when you need it and don't have to use it and don't have to, you know, move it around and store it and trip over it and all of that uh, when you're not using it. I love this thing and it works perfect for what I'm doing it for or doing with it right now. So that's it. Hey, I just wanted to add a little bit to the video that I shot earlier. So now I'm working on this uh, BMW X5M uh, competition. And yes, I'm doing a traditional wash with the foam and coat shampoo. Uh, that's the only, I did not use the strip and prep. This one's been coated uh, already with uh, Everlasting Showstopper X. So the foam and coat system has the same technology. So that's the maintenance for this if you're gonna do a traditional wash, which obviously I am. Just testing out this uh, Aqua Tank 2. Uh, this is a bladder, like I mentioned, not a tank, but it is a tank. Um, one thing I wanted to mention real quick uh, you definitely, well, I already mentioned it, but you definitely need a shorter, um, hose to go to the pressure washer. This actually is preventing my pressure washer from having the flow that it needs, but it is definitely still functional. Um, but notice that most of this thing is being, uh, hit by the sun. This does not have any UV inhibitors in it. So when you use this tank, read the instructions, uh, because they're going to tell you do not allow it to be in prolonged UV expo exposure because it will degrade the tank and potentially will make it leak. So 
I won't be having it out here long. I'm actually about to use the rest of the water that's in it uh, to rinse down this BMW after I get it all washed. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna finish this. And I just wanna let you know, it is not UV stable, so you will have to cover it up somehow uh, when it's not in use, if it's gonna be exposed uh, in the back of a truck or on top of a trailer or whatever, just cover it up and you're good to go. Hey, if you guys got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Like I mentioned before, I'm Gary Dean, if you don't know who I am. Um, I detail cars, that's what I do. Um, I like to feel like I'm pretty creative and I try to think outside the box. So uh, if you are looking for a water containment system, well not containment, because we're not containing the water that we're using, um, we are just containing the water in your vehicle uh, and you can store it with ease which is the biggest benefit to the situation is when you're not using it it doesn't have to be there literally this thing's awesome a little bit pricey but very functional i'll keep using it i bought the 60 gallon version they have a 30 a 60 an 80 and a 100 um, so just decide what you want and um, you don't have to fill it all the way up Use what you need so you could get the bigger one and only put 20 gallons in it is what I'm getting at. And then if you ever needed 80 gallons, you could definitely do it or 100 or whatever the biggest one was. I bought the 60 because I'm going to use it for camping as well as detailing. Um, so, you know, I'm going to actually be able to transport my water to uh, my property and then I'll have water for however long I'm there while we're doing our camping and that kind of thing. Uh, so it has tremendous benefits. So check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my processes, my products, other things like this, and what I've got going on. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.